Indonesian magazine. Yes, this store sells everything. Almost all are from Indonesia. Should prepare Indonesian dishes. They would want to eat. They'd buy coconut milk themselves to cook curry. Lin is 42 years old. Come from Indonesia 20 years ago to Taiwan. Met her husband then. Marrying in Taiwan, but just married four years. Husband passed away from sickness, leaving her and son, two of them, for a living. By help of home care center in Winlin, started a store selling Indonesian goods at the streets some years ago. She came to eat noodles. This too, this too is from Indonesia. She is forthright and helpful. This store is welcomed by Indonesian folks. Sometimes even the local police come for her. Even the police come for me. Police? Yeah, police for me, Lina. Yeah. Can you do something for me? I said what? He said if someone ran away and caught by police, then I'm the translator. They gave me two hundred and fifty for an hour, sometimes until five hundred for two hours. Asking her help for a translation, she accepted happily, because she can earn some. But in her heart, helping her homeland fellows is something more important than earning money. I know how to do, and how to sell, how to send money to others. They mailed me. Then I learned slowly. I'm okay now. Good relationships. Even Taiwanese mothers and aunties often come to chat. Thanks, Grandma bought that. Oh, come, Grandma. Sit, Grandma. Friendly. How to say? Easy to be close. I get to befriend her when I come for noodles. Her bold smiles and laughter is the golden mark of this Indonesian store. In Inlin, this nearly become the second home for Indonesian laborers in Taiwan.